hold on to let it. me just hold on yeah. to it at what point in the business um the lifespan of the business did you get a divorce uh, I got a divorce actually before we even opened our door. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. So can okay. you imagine trying to get, go into business a divorce? Actually, single mom mm -hmm. at the time. Gotcha. So, but I had been giving advice to so many people, and just and I supported um, Tana's mm -hmm. relationship too, and she wrote that in the book too. That you know when they were married and getting uh, separated. Yeah. So I was like, you know what? I have a lot of wisdom. So mm -hmm. I mean, even to encourage other people that not to let your own circumstances keep you from sharing the wisdom that you have, or like mm -hmm. succumbing to imposter syndrome. Yeah. Because yeah. imposter syndrome would have crept up and said who are you to be able to talk about xyz how are yeah, you qualified exactly. yeah. mm -hmm. but i'm all about learning learning from people who have learned the lesson exactly Correct. i don't want to to your point i don't want to learn from somebody who's never made a mistake right, right. because how do you recover from that it's cool when it's all going well yeah but when you have to pull yourself back up yeah, and do it again fan, and yeah. figure right. it out then you know then i think right. that's when you really see what you're made of so, so i love that y'all have like a variety of personal experience and then you've yeah. been able to help other people um, obviously as well mm -hmm. I do think that you know as we mentioned as we've all kind of said people don't think people think the issue is just where the men at there's mm -hmm. no men right what are you going to do when you get in front of that man is, right. is my question. So that is the question. The that question. is the question. the question. And here's the thing with that. Like, um, you got to have something to talk about, right? You can't, oftentimes, you know, our our sisters, they, they have spent the majority of their life, like, climbing the corporate ladder, mm -hmm. doing what we were told to do culturally, mm -hmm. right? Because, again, our parents told us back in the day to, you know, go to school, books before boys, get your education, get your advanced education, climb the corporate ladder or whatever it is and you know the the man will find you later that doesn't work anymore right the trend tells us that that doesn't happen so you look over and roll over and there's nobody there mm -hmm. so now what right but only thing that they've been doing for the last 10 12 years is, is school and work so they don't really have anything else to talk about they're like relation shh, this isn't a thing don't tell me it's not a thing because i'm telling you it's not a thing. <laughs> they're like relationally illiterate yeah. like they're so far sure. removed right. i mean some of these right. women will literally say like I haven't dated in 10 years and it's like you don't even know how to operate in a no. relationship anymore not even get into the relationship you're awkward when you're meeting right. somebody like mm -hmm. you don't even know how to engage yeah, don't. in a conversation because you're so far they removed don't. and you almost you've replaced relationships with books you've replaced mm -hmm. relationships with college you've replaced yep. relationships with work I'm gonna go back and get another degree mm -hmm. I'm gonna just go, you know you're yeah. filling your time with all of these things because you're really trying to fill this void mm -hmm. that you don't even want to admit you yeah. don't even want to admit so I, I imagine when people are investing mm -hmm. in love, because y'all yeah. are not out here doing doing this for free, right? No, nowhere near free. No, nowhere near free. No, 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 nowhere near free. Okay? No, ma'am. So I imagine, and I want y'all to, to to tell me about the clients that you're getting, because in my mind, a woman, and I know you said majority women, a woman who is willing to spend her money, invest her time, really put herself out there almost, mm -hmm. right? Because right. this is a vulnerable thing. It's very yeah. vulnerable. I just, I ain't been able to figure it out. Like, the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please help me. <laughs> right. So to be able to put yeah. to be willing to put yourself in that position I imagine these women are willing to do the work mm -hmm. they are and we're pretty selective at this point we've been mm -hmm. in this for 10 years so we know what works so it's usually the women so that are like you know away? what oh yeah, absolutely because a lot of times it's like hey I just like you said I need a man and you're not willing to do the work to find him attract him and keep him then what are we doing well, you know we're so wasting our time we're yeah. wasting and our and we're always like I don't even want the money that bad because you, you don't get on my nerves right. you're not going to be a success Listen, story no. like, it's not even worth it yeah. all the time right. and we yeah. work on referrals so right. you know we don't even go we don't there. even want your referral like no, please stop no, yeah. but it's no. usually the ones that are saying you know what I just can't get it right I don't care how much money I make I don't know care how successful I am a lot of them say I'll trade in my success to find a loving relationship and I think it's like later in life we start evaluating like what did I what have I invested my time mm -hmm. in right. like what have I prioritized yeah. and y'all know I like to say this rest in peace Kevin Samuels mm. he tried to tell y'all <laughs> he tried to tell you in a not so nice way but he was trying to tell us to prioritize what we truly want versus what society has told us to go after. Yeah. Yeah. Which, to your point, is climb the corporate ladder. Yeah. Uh, purchase your first home. Yeah, you know, do, do all, all of that. these things that you check off the list. And we never say prepare for a relationship. No. We wait until we're 35 and then we ask women, well, where your man at? Why are you still single? Well, right. You know, the problem with what happens is that, you know, the, the 
the pool gets a little smaller, right? The pie Much gets smaller. smaller over the years. The older we get, and this is reality, ladies. It's just reality. Mm -hmm. So the pie gets a little smaller. And so when and we always say that, you know, when you're in college, like that's the I mean that's, that, the that's, time. The, that's prime. That's prime because here's here's the thing, like that's the most concentrated place where everybody's kind of rowing the same way, everybody has the same end goal, right? You're there for a reason. Yep. And so once you disperse college you're in the abyss you're in the sea of the ooh, abyss ooh, with listen, everybody else right listen. so and and you know may the best woman win and it right? is it's hard yeah i i consciously remember having a conversation the year after i graduated and moved to atlanta with one of my um line sisters and we're just like well what did we do we where are all the men at? Yeah, they were we at just left there we Tennessee go. State University at yeah. HBCU Ooh. with nothing but yes. beautiful black men. Yeah, we did not know educated. what we had. No. Yeah, no. You know why we didn't know what we had though? Because we as mothers are not teaching our black no. girls the same yes. thing the white moms are teaching. They're telling them, don't you just, if yes. all you leave college with is a degree, you did it wrong. Right. They're, our parents are telling us, no, don't spend no time, don't don't get distracted, don't, spend. you know, like we're, it's a totally different message and then we're getting totally different. Different results Correct. and wondering why. Yeah. yeah. yeah.